my name is Harshil and I welcome you all in this web foundation tutorial video. In today's video, I am going to solve exercise number 5.1 from this book. So without wasting time, let's start. So let me first show you the output that we have right now and the output that we are going to make. All right. So this is the output that we are going to make in this exercise, exercise number 5.1. Okay. And uh, this is the output that we have right now. All right. So let's first open our uh, files that first is index.html and second is main.css from the style folder. Okay. So this is my index file. I am using brackets software all right to uh, create or design my website all right so we have opened both of our files now let's move to the next uh, next thing the next step that we are going to make the second step uh, enhance the rule set for the body by setting the width to 600 px all right so we are going to uh, make a width of body tag of 60 p uh, 600 px all right so let's do it so let's go to the main menu uh, here is our body tag where we are going to change uh, the css of our body all right so let me first make it 5.1 all right or 5-1 I'm commenting this so I can understand that uh, I am going to change I have changed everything in 5.1 here all right so uh, 600 px right so width equal to 600 px all right so we have done first thing over here enhance those rule of uh, the width of 600 px we have changed the board uh, width of body to the 600 px now let's check the output all right so uh, i can show you this the body All right, as you can see, the width is 600 px. All right, you can see that this blue, this blue over here is uh, our body. All right, as you can see, the blue uh, box is our body. All right, so let's move ahead. Let's see what's next so now setting the top and the bottom margin to zero and the right and left margin to auto all right so we are making uh, top and bottom margin to zero inside body and right and left margin to auto all right so i i i hope you know how to make margin so i'm using margin margin uh, now I am going to set four values inside this okay so first is top and we are gonna make top as a zero all right then right so right is going to be auto all right then zero again for the bottom bottom is zero zero and then left is going to be auto all right so this is how we make four values for the margin or you can do uh, separately by doing like this 
margin bottom margin margin left margin right margin top all right you can do this as well but uh, this will be uh, helpful to you and will be uh, easier to understand okay so what's next we have done margins now adding a three pixel solid border with uh, this color okay so let's do that uh, background color I guess uh, sorry border it's a border so border going to be three pixel will be solid type and the color is 931420 all right semicolon okay make the requirement correction uh, then taste the changes in the chrome all right we are changing it. all right so as you can see our body in a blue box all right we have done this border this is our border okay and this is our body all right so let's see what's next add one more rule to the body that sets background color to this then taste this change all right so we are going to make a background color of body to this triple f d e d so let's change that background color to hashtag double uh, triple f d e d all right let's check the changes all right so now we're gonna need this to remove so let's move ahead to fix this code or uh, okay uh, taste this change and note that entire window is set to the background color not just the body okay we uh, we have the same output as uh, noted here all right so to fix this code uh, to fix this code a rule set for the HTML element that sets the background color to white then taste to make sure that works all right so to fix this problem we're gonna make an HTML element to color white the background of HTML element means HTML and set its background color to white so background color will be white okay let's check whether it is working or not so it is working all right so let's move ahead now the fifth point it is for add the other border and other backgrounds for this point on taste each changes right after you make it if you have any problem use the developers tool as shown in figure 8.11 to help your debug them all right so let's do fifth add a bottom border to the header that's the same as border uh, around the body okay so we are going to add a border uh, here as you can see in the image we're gonna make it over here this border just like this around the body okay so let's do this so for that we're gonna need a header tag all right because we are going to make it inside the header header so where we're gonna need to change is border bottom add bottom border to the header okay this is our header and uh, border bottom 
bottom i am using this because we are specified we 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 are specified with bottom border okay so that's why i am using this or else i can use this as well all right the same that's why i am copying this code all right copy and pasting over here all right so let's check the change all right as you can see we have make a border so the same as the border around the body all right it's done now the sixth one add top and bottom borders to the h1 heading in the main element both borders should be the same as borders for the header and the footer okay so they have not specified to add the border into the footer but uh, as you can see over here the same as borders for the header and footer so what we are going to do is we are going to add borders in main as well as footer all right so first let's add into the footer the same way as we have done over here okay copy and uh, let me give the comment here i dash one and border okay we have given the border and as well over here dash one so we have added the borders to the footer all right uh, let's check the changes all right as you can see we have changed it now the top and bottom borders to h1 heading all right inside main so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to change in main h1 over here let's let me uh, first do this so i can understand and easier to find so in h1 we are going to add bottom and uh, top and the bottom borders all right so border bottom as well as border top and the value will be the same as we have first specified all right sorry so let's check the check the changes all right we have we got this as you can see we got this as well as as well as this all right now what we are going to do is uh, the seventh step seven which is uh, set the background color of the footer to the same color as as border so we are going to set the this color to the background of footer all right so background color to this all right so we have changed this let's check the changes all right as you can see we have done we are done with it all right now what's the next is uh, get the padding right for the header section and footer so let's move with the eight add a reset selector like the one in figure 5.8 to css file 
when you taste this change the page won't look good and, uh, and this all okay so we are going what we are going to do is reset the selector so resetting selector means we need to uh, make the whole page with zero padding and zero uh, margin okay so for that we need star for the selector okay star means the whole uh, page each and everything including HTML all right star means including HTML means this if I write margin over here it won't work all right it will reset this all the margin and the uh, padding all right whatever code I will write in this it will replace everything okay so I am going to write uh, margin to zero and padding to zero all right let's check the changes as you can see everything changed all right the margin the padding everything changed as you can see all right so let's move to the ninth topic uh, ninth step for the header add 1.5 em of padding at the top and 2 em for padding at the bottom so we are adding paddings to header okay so the top and the bottom inside header means we need to change over here I guess yes here uh, padding top for the top is value is 1.5 1.5 em then 0 uh, then the bottom is 2 em 2 em I guess yes 2 em and then the left value is 0 okay the right and left is 0 and top and bottom is as uh, as given all right then delete the text index indents rule from h1 and h3 okay so i we gonna need to remove this so what we are going to do is we are going to comment it okay so we have removed this okay and let's see the change okay so header is looking better than that okay the previous one so what's more in that so we have remove a uh, text indent rule from h2 and h3 elements in the header now we are going to add 30 pixel of padding to the right and left of the image all right in the header so in the header we have this image all right so let's make a change in that so what we are going to do is left and right okay uh, what is it padding padding top is 0 left is 30 pixel sorry right is 30 pixel then bottom is 0 then again left is 30 pixel okay let's check the changes as you can see it looks way better than the previous one when you taste this you will see that heading looks much better okay it looks much better for the main element add 30 pixel of padding to the right and left okay so now we are going to change in the main element okay so
so let's go to CSS and main so here we are going to change okay the main uh, 30 pixel of padding to the right and the left all right the same as we have done over here in the header for the image so we are just copying and pasting it all right let's check the changes so it changed a bit all right it uh, changes a little bit so let's move ahead now we are going to add paddings into these elements uh, in the main element set padding for the heading and the text of follow so these are the elements in which we are going to change so first let's uh, let's let's find this element in our CSS so do we have uh, these elements no we don't have okay so let's change some of them for example we have uh, h1 h2 and h3 and we have those all right so in h1 we are going to change top and bottom padding to this okay so we are just copying and pasting it copy all right so this is the last one so let's make it all right so the top and the bottom i guess yes top and the bottom so we are remo removing this and making it to zero this is the bottom one so 0.3 em as uh, written here this is the left so left value is zero 0.3 em for the top all right for the top now for the h2 the same way top and the bottom so just copying and pasting okay for the h2 right for the top value is uh, dot 5 em and for the bottom it is 0 0.25 25 em okay uh, for the h3 it is specifically said that we are gonna need to add padding bottom padding bottom is uh, 0.25 25 em yeah. uh, you can as well do like this for example make this zero make this zero as well uh, sorry i think we have made made a mistake i guess to top and bottom it's top and bottom we're gonna need to change top and bottom all right we have made mistake actually we have done it wrong we exchange the values from left to right with uh, top to bottom all right so remember this this is for top this is for left uh, sorry for right this is for bottom and this is for left all right so the bottom so you can do this as well all right you can write this 
like these as well all right so let me put this into comment so you can understand right now image so we don't have image written over here so let's main space image space indicates that image inside main all right so as you can see over here main and this is our image so image inside main the child element of main okay it shows uh, this shows that okay so remember that don't be confused so over here it is written as well that bottom so we can write like this uh, let's do one thing uh, put this over here okay and this after that all right so main what's next is p okay padding bottom what's the value it's 0.5 okay so next is main inside main there is a block quote block quote tag and uh, we need to give the value uh, right and left so we're gonna need this so this is the value this is gonna be the value of top okay and then for the right 2em and for the left 2em as well okay so now ul element so main and ul okay so the value will be 25 sorry twenty five dot twenty five for bottom and one point twenty five for left so we're gonna need to change last two so for the bottom it's dot twenty five em and for the left it's one point five okay now the last one is li now to remember uh, I wanna warn you that don't write main dot main li all right because it is not directly the child element of l uh, main so you need to go with main then ul and then li all right don't conf don't get confused so we need to put ul in between those two okay so the value of it is dot 25 em at the bottom so padding bottom will be uh, 0.25 em okay uh, sorry it's 35 35 em now the step 12 which is set the padding for the top and bottom of paragraph in the footer to 1 em now we need to change in the footer and element name is p i guess yes yes paragraph paragraph means p our paragraph element so footer then p and then we're gonna need to change it to 
uh, one em padding padding for the top and bottom for the top and bottom all right so one em for top and one one em for bottom all right so all right so let's check our output all right as you can see it looks just same as this almost equal to this all right almost equal you can see now what we're gonna need is to change this because it is in white color and our in black all right and uh, we're gonna need to do this as well yes okay so uh, taste the changes at the point else placing should look right okay now uh, I think I we we lost one I think we uh, all right yes here you can see uh, we uh, missed this point set the font color for the paragraph in the footer to white all right we're gonna need to change that so here the font color means we don't need to write font color we just need to write a color to change the font color of uh, any tag all right so as you can see we have changed the font color from black to white okay this so let's move ahead now the ending uh, <clears throat> finishing touch we are going to make some finishing touch which is initialize the uh, bl block quote uh, sorry initialize it's not initialize it's uh, uh, Italy it, it uh, italicize the bl uh, block quote element to make it stand look look uh, stand out all right so we are going to make this to looks better all right or uh, italicize this we're gonna do that but before that I want to change some all right so let's make it happen all right so where is our uh, quote okay main quote so we are going to change in here so font style sorry Y style it is going to be italic okay so you can see okay so as you can see the change uh, this is our change all right so now let's move ahead uh, what is 15 add liner gradient okay so we are going to add a liner to the header 
gradient means i get this background as you can see it's uh, different than this one all right so let's do that here uh so for the header we're going to need header where is header all right over here so let's uh, uh write background image uh liner gradient and then uh we're going to need values of it which is one that shows views okay this is the color hashtag uh, f6 double b 73 all right which is at the value of 0 okay 0% then the same with uh, same color with 30% So comma thirty percent comma then white at fifty percent white at fifty percent all right then I guess the same color that we used previously two times. first is 80% right 80% and then the color with 100% all right so we have done till now till here it's five colors you can see 1 2 3 4 5 all right this is the first and second third fourth and fifth all right so what's next color at 30 degree angle okay so we are going to add a degree all right so degree is specified over here it's 30 deg means degree all right but experiment with this until you get it the way you want it all right So let's check. So is it looks like this? We got the gradient. All right. Output. Okay. So uh, if you have any questions or queries, let me know in the comment. And I hope this helps. Okay so thanks for watching guys